Hi, I'm Liam White. I'm looking for a condo in Queens. Hi, Liam. Thanks for sharing that you're looking for a condo in Queens. Could you let me know how many bedrooms you're looking for? Four bedrooms. Got it, Liam. A four-bedroom condo in Queens. Are there any specific amenities you're looking for, like a pool, garage, or anything else? No specific amenities needed. Thanks, Liam. Lastly, could you share your budget for the condo? This will help me find the best options for you. Around $800,000. Liam, I found a great option for you. 297 Union Street, Queens, New York. This four-bedroom condo is priced at $723,767, fitting well within your budget. Does this property interest you, or would you like me to refine the search? No, thank you. Thanks for your time, Liam. If any other suitable properties come up, I'll be sure to reach out. Have a great day. So what you have just seen is actually a conversation between two AI voice agents. Uh, the first one was Sophie, the real estate voice agent that I built in a previous video. And the second voice agent was Liam. Um, it's actually a transient voice agent generated for just the purpose of testing Sophie, the voice agent that I built. I was able to set this up using an automated testing platform for voice agent. But before getting into the details of how this works exactly, you might be wondering why. Why bother with automated testing? So let's talk about that. Let's uh, discuss why automated testing can be so valuable to our voice agent development workflow. So let's talk about why automated testing and evaluation matters in AI development. So traditional computer software is deterministic, meaning that where with one specific input, we can determine with 100% accuracy the output of that program. On the other hand, with AI software, especially generative AI based on large language model that we are used to, is not deterministic. So even if the software is run with the same input, we might get a different output at different times that we run the program. And if you have worked on AI development before, you have probably experienced this already where uh, you interact with a conversational AI agent and then the response you got is not consistent different times that you talk to it, right? So as you can imagine, this is a big risk for any businesses or individuals who want to adopt autonomous AI systems like AI voice agents. And it makes sense, right? Imagine that you are a business owner. You probably don't want to hire a customer service rep who is unstable and inconsistent, right? It's the same with AI voice agents. Therefore, it is our responsibility as AI agent developer to make sure that our AI agents are as reliable as it can be, especially when we release them into the wild where these systems will interact with real customers on behalf of the business under sometimes unpredictable conditions with things like background noise, different accent, different speed and pattern of speech and so on. So now that we understand the importance of automated testing, let's take a look at how it works in details. Um, let me reframe the context of uh, what I'm about to show you again. So for this video, we are going to test the real estate voice agent that I built using retail AI in a previous video, which I will leave the link to in the description uh, just for your reference. So this voice agent will do three things. First, it will gather information from potential buyers about their property preferences, and then it's going to call the function set up in Mac.com to recommend suitable properties based on their preferences. And then once the user is happy and interested in a property, then they can choose to schedule a tour to view the property in person. So now to set up the automated testing for this voice agent, I'm going to jump over to Hamming AI, which is an automated testing platform for um, AI voice agents. And so let's move this over here so that you can see. Right. OK, so here are our test scenarios for this real estate voice agent. And to make the video easy to follow and not too long, I'm only going to define five scenarios to validate here. In reality, though, there might be 
many many more scenarios that we want to test depending on the complexity of the voice agent so for each of the scenarios that are being tested you can see that uh, i'm specifying mainly two things first is the script that the voice agent should follow and then the expected outcome or the success criteria and use that to determine whether the test scenarios was um, executed successfully or not so for example in this happy scenario you can see that I'm telling the voice agent to uh, play the role of a buyer who is looking for a townhouse in Albany with three to five bedrooms and then they should choose a property and book a tour to view it on Saturday 9 a.m. because I know there are properties in the database available in Albany the outcome of this call should be that the user receives a recommendation and then they can uh, go ahead and book the appointment. On the other hand, we can define an unhappy case. For example, let's say this one. So you're looking for panels in New Jersey. Right? So I know that in the property database, there are no properties in New Jersey since the real estate agent only offers properties in New York, right? So I know that there are no properties available and therefore no recommendations uh, should be made and no appointments should be booked. So now that we have defined all the test scenarios that we want to validate, let's see how they can be run and what the results look like. So I can go to the voice agents tab here, uh, click on the agent and here you can see this is the interface that we will use to run and assess the different test cases and in order to run the scenarios you can click on this button and then you can select the data set that you want to test so in this case i defined the data set of five scenarios that i showed you guys earlier and then once you click on that you can also choose how many times you want each scenario to be run and this can be really useful because as i explained in the earlier part of the video since um, AI software currently is not deterministic so there can be cases where the results differ between different runs especially for important scenarios we might want to run it multiple times and see if the result remains consistent between those runs um, so we can define that here and then we have the choice to either run all five scenarios or we can select the individual scenarios that we uh, want to focus more on so in case if we know that oh, most of the test cases have passed but there are only a few that are still not working properly yet we can just focus on testing those to save time and resources uh, since I already run the scenarios before I'm just going to show you guys the results so from a quick glance here, you can already see whether the tests were successful or not. So let's take a look at one example in detail. So, well, first you can hover on the input column here to see the scenarios in full, which is the same scenario, the same script that we defined earlier. And then we can look at the overview of how the call went from the duration of the call the talk ratio between um, our voice agent that we want to test versus the test, the simulated voice agent, um, the latency of the call, and then here is the number of interruptions. And if you click on this button right here, let me put this down here so that you can see. All right. So you will see all the details of the test here, including the recording that I showed you guys in the demo. Um, the transcript of um, the conversation between our voice agent and the test voice agent. So the bubbles in green are from the test voice agent, Liam, uh, whereas the messages in the blue bubbles are the ones from my voice agent, Sophie, the real estate voice agent that we are trying to test, that we are trying to validate. And then if you click on this button, you will see in detail how Hamming assessed and decided whether this test was successful or not and why so we can see the explanation here the first criterion that i specified in the expected outcome of the scenario is that properties uh, were recommended and in the transcript it sees that the real estate agent recommended to the customer uh, this property which means that the first criterion was met was satisfied and then the second criterion is 
the appointment is not booked because the uh, we are in this case we are instructing the test voice agent to decline um, the invitation to book a tour we want to test this case so in the conversation there was no mention of the appointment being booked therefore the second criterion was also satisfied and since both criteria were met the chance group should be classified as a success which is correct in this case so the way that this works under the hood is that once the test voice agent completes the call Hamming will receive the transcript of that call in text then Hamming will analyze this transcript along with the expected outcome that we defined for each of the scenario to determine whether our real estate voice agent behaved as expected one important thing to note is that Hamming AI is actually not available for self-service yet, meaning that you cannot sign up and onboard yourself into the platform. Instead, after signing up, you will be put on a waitlist and then a member from the Hamming team will reach out to you and help you connect your retail or Vapi voice agents with Hamming. Um, that being said, the Hamming team told me that they are actively working to make Hamming available for self-service, which will make the platform accessible just like a typical SaaS product, which is very exciting. So there you have it. That's how we can test AI voice agent automatically using AI itself. And I believe that with AI voice agents becoming more and more prominent, platforms like Hamming AI will continue to play a very important role in helping us keep the AI agents reliable and consistent, which is non-negotiable for businesses who want to adopt and integrate this kind of systems into their existing operations and trust them to represent their business when talking to customers in the best manner possible is really important. If you find the video valuable, please feel free to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. It might not seem like much, but it really means a lot to me and your support really helps the channel to continue to grow so that I can keep making content like this for you guys. And finally, if you own a business looking to implement AI voice systems, uh, feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn or schedule a call so that we can discuss how AI agents can take your business to the next level. And that's it for me today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.